enter this uh, camera view to see what's going on here okay now we have this result um, I think there are some problem because as you can see in this render scene some like a front facade like a texture is is burning right now because of um, the sunlight to decrease this this burning effect actually um, in the render setting I can change we can change the color mapping so uh, let's change the color mapping as a exponential all right so uh, and then let's render this again now we have this uh, as you can see here um, there are no like a burning effect anymore on the front facade and the texture is properly rendered with the sky and sunlight all right but i think there still have we have we still have some problems because um i made this uh the fluorescent lights for the interior of buildings but in the rendered scene we cannot see this fluorescent lights and also the window glazing uh, seems a bit weird because there are no like a proper reflection and, and the transparency so I'm gonna adjust those things a little bit first I'm gonna check the windows material okay so let's click let's select the windows and then isolate all right and then let's open the material editor so actually this is glass material um, to check the material actually you can pick material from the object through this spoit tool so click this spoit and then you can pick this object oh now we can see this of the material is not v-ray material actually it's um, just standard material so I'm gonna change this uh, glass material as a V-ray material and then I'm gonna apply the color as a like a blue light blue color and then reflect gonna be I'm gonna apply some reflection around here and then the transparency I'm gonna apply this much okay so now yes I applied new V-ray glass material so unhide all and then uh, let's render this all right um, now we have this properly rendered windows okay so um, but we are still missing um, the fluorescent light okay so I'm gonna brighten up this um, fluorescent light all right so let's do that okay, I already applied the V-ray light material to those uh, fluorescent lights so actually we can select the object through the material editor I'm gonna show how to do that so let's open the material editor and then let's find the interior light so this material actually I applied this material to this light object all right so how to select the object from material editor so let's select the um, the material and then right click here and then you can select this one select by material click this and then it goes directly the uh, select object windows and then you can just uh, you can see this FL geometry this is all like a fluorescent light object so you can just simply click the select and then the all the fluorescent lights are selected so and then art H you can isolate the selection and then let's see 
the object. So as you can see here, um, I made like a multi-sub object for the the metal chrome frame and then the the inner light source. So I added this light, uh, V-ray light material, right? So uh, let's double click this one, and then the color is white. If you if you wish, you can change the color. I, I still I'm gonna keep the white color and then you can I, I we can adjust intensity in this case I'm gonna enhance intensity as a hundred all right so that's it and then uh, let's go to upper level and then unhide all and then let's render that this um, nicely rendered exterior scene um, actually I want to add one um, nice car on the road so let's do that all right so I'm gonna maximize this one and then um, let's merge all right so let's go to class 9 folder and car and then you can merge this Audi click all and then click OK alright and then the car is now giant so we need to adjust the, its size so like that alright and then let's move to right position from front view all right so it should be there then let's see in the camera view um, let's move a little bit around here all right um, looks good so let's render this we have this nicely rendered exterior scene and actually I want to add one nice car fancy car ar uh, on the road okay so I'm gonna add that so I'm gonna use top view here 